everyone. This week you've been doing your learning on people that help us. On Monday you went through a list of people that helped us in our society. Can you remember any of the people that help us? So let's have a little look. I'm going to use the pictures I used on Monday as well. So let's see if you can remember them. So we had Doctor. I've only picked a few this time just as a recap. Yeah, Firemen and Firewomen. And teachers. We did have a few more, but that was just a quick test of some of the ones, some of the people who helped us that we looked at on Monday. Today, we're going to have a look at some objects that people used in both the present and the past. So, let's have a look. Can you see any objects that look really old? Mm. Which one can you see? Oh, so the one that I spotted straight away is this one here. And this one here is a lunchbox. So this would have been used by quite a few different people, but it's made of a different type of material. So I brought my lunchbox as well to have a little look at. As you can see, my lunchbox is made of fabric. I wonder if you can guess what this lunchbox is made of. So it's made of metal and it's got a little metal clasp at the front to keep it secure. It's a metal box and that's where you keep your lunch in. So lots of nurses, doctors would have used these as well. Okay, lots of different people would have used these. So lunch box is something slightly different to what we would have today, like our material one with a handle. You just have a tin box. I've got one in front of me. You might notice this. Ooh. From in school. We use those a lot, don't we? We do use these an awful lot. <laughs> we've got our whiteboard and we've got our whiteboard pen. But before we had a whiteboard and pen, people used to use this. Can you see what it is? Ooh, let me bring it closer. Oh, Let's have a look. Ooh, I wonder if you know what this one's called. Ooh, so we've got some wood, wood border here. Ooh, what do you think this is called? So this is a chalkboard, and you also would have had a piece of chalk with it as well, just like this. I'll bring it a little bit nearer. Okay, and that's what you would write with. So we have our pen, made of, the outside's made of plastic, and then instead of a pen, we used chalk. Okay. Oh, so another thing. Oh, something that I really noticed, and I had fun playing with this, is this one. So this is Miss Whiteford's mobile phone, or my iPhone. But this is also a phone. I'll bring it closer. We've got two of them. We do. And this very one's heavy. called a rotary phone. They are very heavy. So this one's got quite a lot of plastic, but it's also got some metal, and that one's made of a lot more metal that Miss Dossett's holding. So it is very heavy. And you would use this dial at the front. It would take a very long time. You'd have to pick the number that you needed and you'd bring it all the way down to here, let it go, and then you'd find the next number you needed, bring it all the way around, and that was called a rotary phone. Hello, Miss Dossett. Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a rotary phone. So that looks very different to our iPhones, our mobile phones today, doesn't it? Very different. Okay. So that would have been used... They would have been in hospitals, office staff would have used those as well. So those are rotary phones. Oh, I wonder what now, else. We've got a few items on here that firemen would have used. Ooh. So we've got our fireman's hat. Go on, Miss Whiteford. Put it on for us. All right, then. <laughs> ha ha. Ooh, a bit big for Miss Whiteford. But this was a fireman's hat and this was made of leather. Hmm, does that look? like a fireman's hat that you would think of today. Doesn't, does it? So now they, they had fireman's hats before and fire hats, but we have helmets today. A little switch for the fire men and women. They would wear helmets like this, made of plastic, okay? And they would have a little bit, sometimes the back is made of some harder leather still to keep their necks protected 
but the majority of it is made of our plastic material. Okay. Right. The oh. other object we have for refinement oh, is yes. this. What Ooh. do you think this could have been used for? I wonder what, what do you think that is? Let me bring it closer up to the screen. So that is a bucket. So what do firemen and women use today to put out fires? They use this, does it? Well, they definitely use water. They do. But how do we get the water to the fires? Hmm. Do we use a bucket like this? Do they use it? We might before they get to us, but they don't use buckets. They use hoses that are connected up to their fire engines. But in the past, they didn't. They would use leather. So this is made of a material called leather and they would use a bucket to put out the fire. <sighs> Whoa, that That's must have been really very hard. tiring. <laughs> that would have taken a lot longer than when they use their hoses today. So that was used by a fireman as well. So we had our fire hat and the bucket were both made of a certain material. I wonder if you can remember what that material was. It was leather. Good. Okay. What else do we have? I've got one back here. Ooh. Oh, Miss Gussie, yeah, what's that? Well, wow. it's made of metal mm. and, oh, we've got a fabric in the middle. This was used as a light source, so it's a lantern. Who do you think might have used a lantern? Hmm. There also is another type of lantern that was used a little bit later on. And this is an oil lantern. So they used oil to fuel the flame, the fire that would come here. And they would also use these to be able to see around. Another light source. Hmm. Have a look at both of those. So, if you thought that it might be a nurse or a doctor that used these, you would be right. Well done. They didn't have light bulbs, so they had to carry their own light with them wherever they went. They did, and then that one that Miss Dossett had, they would have a long stick to hold that out so that they wouldn't have to be too near the flame and they could hold it out so that they could see as they'd go along. So you wouldn't hold it up like your finger, but we haven't got the metal stick that they'd use, but they would have that hanging down so that they could see where they were going. Oh, so let's see what else we've got. Oh, we've got two left. This one. So this one here, I wonder if you can guess what this is. Ah, so this is a milk can. So this would be where your milk would be delivered. You get your milk delivered to your house and that's where it would come in. What do we have our milk in now? Oh, Miss Dossett, have we got a picture of where we have we where we put our milk now? Because it's definitely different to this, because this is made of metal, it's a tin. And that one is our carton. Who can remember what that's made of? So that's made of plastic, isn't it? So this one's a tin and our one that we use today is made of plastic and they look very different. And this one you would screw off that top and pour it out and that one's got a bigger spout and then you pour off the plastic lid to pour it out. Okay. Oh, we've got one left one. Ooh. It's at the front. I'm going to have to be really strong now because this is really, Ooh. really heavy. Oh. Really heavy. Can we see what it is? I wonder whether you can spot Ooh. what that is. Oh, so what Ooh. is it, Miss Dossett? Well, it's made of iron. It is. And it is also an iron. Oh. Oh, would you believe it? <laughs> but the handle is made of wood. But the actual part here that you would use to iron your clothes was made of the material iron. So ours, oh, let me get a picture, looks like this. Ah, oh, today, the present day ones look like this. And they've got plastic. And then at the bottom, you've got metal that heats up. And you plug it in, okay? And some of them, they wouldn't have plugging in. They would have to warm it up on the stove first. And then they would use it. So these, we would have plug-in and it would be made of plastic. And they're much, much lighter. Much, much lighter, <laughs> yes, definitely. And I know we said we had one more, but there was another one that I just spotted. Oh, what have we got? So we've got, oh. what's this? We do use these today, but we don't use them in the same way they were used in the past. So this is our candle. And Miss Dossett, what do we use today instead of a candle? Oh, you might have seen this the other day. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, can you see? We use a torch. 
So again, just like we were saying, you'd be right if you would think about doctors and nurses again, because yes, they would use these within their lanterns, and sometimes they would just have their candle holders that they would use to carry around as well, and they would light those to be able to see their way and to see around. So we had our candles and our torch, and those are our past and our present objects. Okay, so there's a lot of different artefacts and objects that we've shown you today from the past and the present from people that help us. So I wonder now if you can do our challenge. We've got a little challenge, haven't we, Miss Sussex? We do. We do. So we have given you a little table and the table says past and present. And then we've also given you some pictures. Some pictures will look familiar because there will be some of these different objects and others you may not have seen just yet. So you've got to look out for those materials that we were talking about, the newer materials that are gonna be things like fabric and plastic and the older ones, things like our really heavy metals like iron. So really look out for all those materials. Think about your back at your science. So we're linking our science into our history today and see if you can sort all the different objects and equipment that was used by people who help us into past and present. Okay, well, thank you for joining us today. We've had a really lovely time showing you all of these different artifacts and we hope you enjoy the task. Bye. Bye.